Hi guys, Shaky Nan again. Well, that was a tough one the other day, wasn't it? Um, I've put a, a topic up today saying, how many times will you try uncomfortable things? And this is to the non-ETers. If something like that was that hard for you to do, would you do it again? Um, you know, I've, I've realized since doing these videos, I've, I've showed you before that with my craft, I gave up my craft for so many years um, and starting Shaky Nan and helping you guys to see that we can still do it. I've taken it all back up and I can do it again. But it takes a lot of time to get into it. It takes, you know, we, we can't just give up on the first time. But as you saw on Tuesday with me sitting down at the bistro at our local pub, how many times should I push myself to do that and make myself that uncomfortable, that on edge that I'm about to burst into tears because my ET is at its top limit? How many times do I do that to try and make myself better? Like I said, would non-ETers do that again if something was that hard for them. I don't think it's just us guys. I think we all give up things too easy. I think especially as we get older, things just become, oh, that's too hard. I'm not gonna do bother with that again. But for ETers, we're giving up our life to a, a normal life. You know, we should be able to go to the bistro at the local pub. We should be able to go to a restaurant. We should be able to have lunch at a takeaway shop and sit outside of by ourselves if we need to, if we're out shopping for the day. You know why? why it's, I, I, it's just hard. I just, you know, it. even the other day, um, when I put up the video on Monday for you guys saying that I was going to go straight away, my daughter Tara Lee rang me and said, Mum, I'll come with you. I'll come with you. There were friends down at the pub saying, I'll sit with you. I'll help you. It wasn't about that. It was about the challenge of doing it for myself and showing you guys how hard ET is out in public. I've told you plenty of times, I'm comfortable with you guys now in my own office doing this, but that's what I'm like in public still. How can I get past that? I will try that again soon. I will go down there and once a month for the next couple of months, I think, and see how I go, see if it gets easier. But like I said, would non-ETs do it again and again if it made them feel that uncomfortable? Um, no, we've got to... It's a habit that we fall into, that we give up things too easy or we don't want to do things. Even changing my name since getting married. We got married 12 days ago, 13 days ago. It took me till yesterday to start to go and change my name on things. The hardest part was learning my signature. My hand did it on its own. My hand has signed that signature practically all my life. My maiden name and my first married name were it's both started with HA, the surnames. So that's what I did, an NHA and a squiggle, and that was my signature for my whole life. Then I had to change from an N to a W, and changing from up and down to squiggles for ET is, is hard. It took me 10 days to practice a signature. You know, these are things that are normal everyday things that are so tough for us. Um, but I went to the RTA, remember last time I went there, I had a bad experience. I was putting it off because I didn't wanna have that again. But I had a good experience yesterday. I got there, the first guy gave me a form to fill out. I went up to another guy and I said, do I have to fill this form out? I, I've, I've got married, you know, do it. And he said, yes, you do, um, just fill it out and then we'll give you a number to get called up. And he saw me walk over and the next minute he was beside me and said, would you like me to help you? I'll fill that out for you. Unlike the last time I went there where the lady had me in tears. Um, no, and I, but I had my shirt on yesterday. 
I didn't have my shirt on last time. So maybe he saw the shirt. Maybe he realised there was a problem. Maybe the shirt helped. It helped the other day in the pub too. Um, when I did finish filming, a lot of people gave me a smile. They did read the shirt. Because it was my first time, I wasn't ready to get up and talk to everyone about it. Um, I need to do one step at a time with this. Maybe next time I will. I'll get up and I'll, I'll, I'll put a sign on the table or something to announce it. On Tuesday, I was trying to show you how it is without the shaky men around me and without putting it out there first. How it is for normal, everyday ETs in their everyday life. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, on Tuesday, it's had a lot of views and I'm really grateful because that will showcase ET the most. As I said on this camera, facing you face on, you don't see it as bad. That's why I put the camera sort of side on so that you could see it more the other day and I'm glad it did showcase it that bit more, especially out in public. Show you just how hard it is. But like I said, normal and non ETs. Would you do that if it was that hard for you? Love you all, guys. I hope that'll give you something to think about. I, I, sorry, I confused myself through it. I hope it all came out right. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. How are you, darling? Hi, Kim. Hi, Debbie. All right, guys. I love you all. Hi, Anita. Um, I will see you all on Tuesday. I will get back to everyone's comments, messages, emails, I have so many over the four platforms. I will get back to everyone this weekend. Shane will be on night shift, so I'm going to spend all weekend getting back to you all and um, touching base again. Thank you all. Love you all. Take care. Stay safe in this crazy world. And I'll see you all on Tuesday. Bye, guys.